as Christians, one of the most profound verses of God's Word says that the gospel should be preached to every nation and every tribe. In today's global economy, we find it hard to believe that there are still places around the world that have not been reached. Yet there are. There are almost 3,400 unreached people groups that have never even heard the name of Jesus. Hi, I'm Carl Hargiston. One of the reasons they haven't heard, well, many times, it's because they live in remote places in the world, making reaching them very difficult. That's the assignment. Reaching an unreached people group and share the gospel. Sounds easy? Well, not quite. We took a group of ordinary people from all walks of life and dropped them right in the middle of Ethiopia and gave them that assignment. Will they make it? Stay with us in the coming weeks as we explore Ethiopia. Live among the people. She's just going to chop it off. Pray with the locals. And worship with fellow Christians. Attend a gospel festival. and experience miracles. Follow us on the adventure of a lifetime as we travel into the bush for the ultimate assignment to reach unreached people groups and share the gospel. Previously on the assignment. Raise your hand. The team is stopped by a man who has brought his four year old boy for prayer. Michelle prays for him and he walks. The team is still hungry for something different for dinner. So Nick, Albertine, and Berhano they head into the market to negotiate for tonight's dinner chicken. While Albertine considers herself an experienced negotiator, many of the locals see this as an opportunity to make some extra money. In Ethiopia, you can't just pick up a bucket of chicken. And the market is not a store, it's a meeting place. If it's produce, then it just came from the ground. And if it's meat, then it probably walked there on its own. Albertine relies on Burhanu to make sure she's not taken advantage of. Now they need to find other supplies. But instead of going down another aisle, they will need to go down another street. We're not finished yet. We have to buy rice and um, still have to buy butter. Rice and butter. Still have to buy a few things and oil. Okay. The rice is quick to cook, we can always go out again. We will buy. The thing is that we can get the butter. I think we will get the butter. But that's what you guys want, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, let's go to our house and in this case we stick it. Similar to the one that they've been making. 
I will just use the butter. Well, we have to go back to the market now. To get butter? We can't get butter here? I don't know. I don't know whether they have one show up. Uh, have butter here? You can ask. Here you go, Ash. Abisha. I want that more cover. That butter over there? <laughs> <laughs> the butter that Albertine is about to buy is not pasteurized or processed. The team will be taking a risk by eating it. <laughs> With the supplies they found at the market, they head back to the house. The team reacts differently to the groceries. They said they're a little small, so. She's gonna go get the rice. <laughs> oh, by yourself? No, no, brown is there. She's uh. Sorry. They, they, both went out. Sorry. they both went out to go get the rice. They'll be coming back. It was a little too difficult. It was it was a little easier with with just her. Yeah. She's, yeah. She looks like a Kenyan. Something but easier. But with me, I had a crowd with me, so we just took the chicken and took off. So uh, yeah, a couple people will stay. Um, Mo. Shao Mo, being one. Bob. You want to stay? Okay, I can. Can I just have a Chicken? I don't know if I can. Linda's being too. You're so cute. Uh -uh. No, Linda can't do it. I'm not, no. <laughs> but I can do it. She How can? much you can kill both of us? You can do it. Both of us. You can do it. Yeah. 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 Why not? I'm not going to kill a chicken. You don't have to kill it. I'm not going to watch. I'm going to tell. You, but you have to, we want you to help with the process. No. Okay, we're gonna have more than that. I'm cool. Come on, you can do it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You don't have to kill it. You don't have to kill it. You don't have to kill it. You don't have to, you don't have to kill it. What am I gonna do? You can prepare it. Fucking. Once it's. You've never made chicken before? I've made chicken before. Perfect. When it's dead, it's the same thing. Oh, you can prepare the rice. Yeah. We'll have plenty of rice to cook. Um, we got butter and the chives in there. You know, okay, you know but I want nothing to do with the chicken. That's fine. No. Not even preparing? Except for the thunder plate? No, I'll do the rice. I'm not gonna. Uh-uh. I'm not gonna. I'm okay. Will Linda step up? That's fine. Or will she chicken out? We believe it should be the birthright for every person born to have at least one chance to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mission 111 is your chance to go to the ends of the earth to reach unreached tribes. Participate in a large gospel rally. Live among an unreached tribe and share the gospel story. Start your assignment and apply for Mission 111 right now at mission111.com or call the number on your screen for more information. There's the oil. This is oh, this is oil? oil? Okay. Yes. Okay, let's put it, let's, let's put it over. Albertine gets Linda and Michelle started in the kitchen. Uh, I can also, I was going to make a little tomato sauce. I bought some tomatoes and, and green peppers. The kitchen is primitive compared to what they are used to in America. So they will have to figure out how to navigate it. So if you guys can just do the chicken and the the um, rice, then I can do the, the tomato sauce and the gravy. Okay. Okay. I don't know so, how to cook a chicken. 
Oh, you never fried a chicken? Well, you guys are gonna, like, you guys are gonna cut it and we're gonna cut it into small give us the pieces? Yeah. Okay. Right. And okay. then we just wash yeah. them I can just and then we can season can them. Okay. All right, so right now what we're doing is boiling water to kill the chicken, because you have to have hot water to get the feathers off, so that's what we're doing. Okay. Oh. Is there any way we can, like, remove the cat while we're cooking? You can ask them. Because it's not very... How do we grab them? Just by the string? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, I have Go. a chicken. I have a chicken. There are 7.8 billion people on the planet. 3.2 billion have never heard about Jesus. That's a lot. But you say to yourself, what can I do? I can't take off to Africa. I've got a family. I've got kids. I'm too old, too young. I can't afford to leave my job, but I still want to help. You can be a full participant with Mission 111 without ever leaving your home. Mission 111 has a plan to reach this unreached people group and share with them the good news about Jesus Christ so they can share in the greatest gift in all of mankind. But we need your support. For the price of a latte, you can change someone's life. Or sponsor a team if you're able. You can give 10, 20, or even $50 right now at mission111.com. Or become a monthly partner and click on the Give button. But whatever you decide, do it now. Someone's eternal life depends on it. Cut You're it. not gonna snap the neck? No. She's just gonna chop You're the gonna thing chop. off. You're gonna chop. We're just gonna cut it off. Like that? No. Oh my gosh. The you just hold the body. I'll hold the neck. I'm so you excited. hold the body. I'll hold the neck. You hold the. You hold the. You hold the, the bottom of the chicken. You gotta hold his feet. He's gonna kick like crazy when I start cutting his neck. Okay. He's gonna really be strong. So you just gotta just hold it. Okay. Come on. The best. The best. Let her do it. I can hold it. Oh my lord. Oh my lord! Turn the neck this way. Oh, it's gonna squirt on me! It's gonna squirt on me! No, it's not. We're gonna cut it down this way. Oh lord. Flapping their feathers and going through all that pain. That's not even cool. That's wrong in so many ways. This isn't the breakfast knife anymore. It's good though. It's no. fine. It's fine. Um, and for people to enjoy doing it and wanting to get it on camera and wanting to take pictures doing it. Here, look at the pictures I got you. They're the best I could do. Yeah. Like, that's just even wrong. Girl, I think, like. Jason, you look like a warrior. Why, man? I'm a soldier. Soldier. Yeah. Instead of hurting people, I kill chickens. Hoorah. <laughs> We believe it should be the birthright for every person born to have at least one chance to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mission 111 is your chance to go to the ends of the earth to reach unreached tribes. Participate in a large gospel rally. Live among an unreached tribe and share the gospel story. Start your assignment and apply for Mission 111 right now at mission111.com. Before the team heads out, Nick addresses a behavioral issue with Carmen. But Carmen doesn't seem too receptive. For their presumptions or, or assumptions, or you just come to the conclusion yourself. So let's have a team meeting about it then. You want to have that? 
They'll have to address it later because the team needs to get to the stadium in Dye. And Nick might have to call a team meeting if they don't resolve it soon. This is the first day of the conference. And already hundreds of people are at the stadium. But these hundreds might be 100,000 by the time the conference is actually underway, um, we're very early. which is still yeah. hours uh, away. Know, people start to show up. We'll have music. They'll draw people. Right. Um, I mean, if, if people start showing up 3.30 and everyone's here with the music, then the preacher will come in. Yeah. But uh, if it's not and they, they, it takes a while, 4 o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock, then the, the biggest crowd is at their, they think it's at their peak, then the, usually they'll, they'll drive in with the truck and the police will come out and then we'll, we'll start the order of service, you could say. They wait for 45 minutes, hoping the crowd grows and the speaker comes. But as they're waiting, a dust storm appears out of nowhere. Dust storms can be devastating to people and structures, and the team takes shelter inside the truck. Some of the team, that is. I want to help. You can't really help them in there. Patrick, want to bring against us today. Against the team inside the truck today. decides we to pray against right the storm. Stand against and eventually, it, in the name of it Jesus. dies down. Hallelujah, for greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And we declare that no weapon formed against this event shall prosper. No weapon formed against those who are coming to help us. His name? The Joshua campaign crew resets parts of the stage that were reconfigured during the dust storm. Luckily, nothing was damaged. Uh, well, right now, uh, they're putting up the tent, or the, the Jesus is Alive poster, uh, billboard again. I uh, got blown over. There was a real strong wind. Dust was everywhere. Um, starting to drizzle a little bit. Um, but in Jesus' name, we, we believe that they got to trying to put this on. We already have clear skies coming our way. After several hours, the conference begins, and the missionary team takes their place on stage. New culture is everywhere. The speaker arrives. It's Pear, the director that met them at the airport. Everything is different. Different music. Different worship. And all in a different language. The team is impressed that 60 to 70,000 people came. Let's lift our right hand tonight. She walked into Jericho and then the Bible says that he walked out of Jericho. A great multitude of people were But Pear assures them that this is only half of those that will attend by the end of the conference. Coming up. The team picks up where they left off. Here's the place to put the chicken when you finish. And Carmen and Nick still don't agree. Is this the end of the road for Carmen? You wouldn't have a problem because there'd be nothing for me to worry about. Well, that's your interpretation. 
a fact. No, no. One time I heard a pastor tell the story of the feeding of the 5,000. There's 50 rows of 100 people, and the disciples start giving food to the first couple rows. By the time you get to the 25th row again, the people in the beginning are now uh, hungry again. So instead of going on feeding the rest of the people, the disciples go back and they feed the first row again. But now they're starting to get tired of just the same old plain bread and fish. So now they're like, oh, I want some spices or I want some herbs. I want different things. And it's amazing because it's a picture of the world today and how half of the people in the world still don't have the gospel and they're waiting to be fed. While the first half of the world has the access to the gospel every single day. And they've gotten so bored with the gospel that we've come up with all these different church programs, we've come up with different ministries, we've been creative in all these different ways of how to reprocess the gospel so that people will continue to be interested in. While there's still people who are starving who never had a chance. And I believe Jesus was very clear in his commission when he said, go into all the world. You know, I think there's a very clear biblical priority to reach unreached people first. Paul says, lest I build on another man's foundation, I have to go to the people who have not yet heard. All the other little things that you don't want to eat, uh, little feathers that kind of got past the cleaning process. So, here's, the, here's the place to put the chicken when you finish. They wash off the chicken to clean it. And this confuses some of the locals. She's just, she's like, she wants to wash it a lot of times because like the chicken is really bad for you if it's yeah. not washed really good. Because the blood is, yeah. the blood can be removed. Yeah, which my hands are covered in. But my heart is on my Burhan, who is curious <laughs> so about the tattoos. The See? They're not common in Ethiopia. What is this? My dad. Pops? Okay. Okay. So Crocs. Is he Pop? Pops? Yeah, that's what I called him. It's his nickname. He's dead. He died a couple weeks before I came. The chicken is almost done, and soon the team will get to taste it. Will it be worth all the effort they put in? No, I'm not getting it. Meanwhile, Carmen and Nick settle things outside. You're mis no, you're misreading me. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. Listen, listen. No, if, if, if there were no problems, you wouldn't have a problem, because there'd be nothing for me to worry about. So well, that's your interpretation. Like that's fact. No, it's not. Like, I don't think... Uh, I wish Draper and Jordan were here because they totally understood me. But I don't think, like, the norm society. Like, okay, usually the people would say, like, okay, you know, if she's hiding something that she wouldn't want people. So it's, I just, like, I like my friends. And if I feel like I have to be a babysitter around me, that's just an issue. It's not like because I was like, I just, I just don't like having a babysitter. Well, there's your option. Babysitter or... And I'm concerned one time for you. Finally, after all is said and done, the Mission 111 team and some of Joshua campaign come together and eat. Wow, what a day. They got their chicken from the market, prepared it, even over objections from Linda. 
handled some team issues, endured a dust storm and rain at the rally, the people still came looking for an encounter with God. And finally, the team got to eat chicken. Although I heard that even though it was overcooked and dry, the team enjoyed the fruit of their land. Now this is their sign. Stay with us in the coming weeks as we explore Ethiopia. Live among the people. Pray with the locals. And worship with fellow Christians. Attend a gospel festival. See and experience miracles. Give thanks to God. Follow us on the adventure of a lifetime as we travel into the bush for the ultimate assignment to reach unreached people groups and share the gospel. start your assignment and sign up for Mission 111 today. You've got everything you need to start your assignment. Except one thing. Your commitment. Don't pretend you're going to pray about it. If God is tugging at your heart, do it. Go to mission111.com right now and download your application today.